Yes, I want to read that fucking face every, <laughs> every time. time. Every time. Uh, what's going on, everybody? It is the Plan B Show, uh, Plan B After Show podcast. God, I got that weird tick right now. I never say it right, even though I've done this. We have done like 550 uh, After Show podcasts. It's how many insane. years in radio are you? Man? Like 13 years, 14 years? You still can't uh, figure it out, man. When did I start? Man. 2007? Something like that? Jesus Christ. Way too long. Way too long. I should not have been doing radio this long, uh, this poorly. You know what I mean? Like, it, I should have been fired long, long ago. I don't know what it is. It out. It's <laughs> probably, it's just because of all the sexual favors I've done to get to where I'm at. That's the only reason I'm able to still your, do this. Your brain is flustered and cluttered with bad things. Terrible. Anyway, it is the Plan B App Show podcast. Brock and Hunter, thank you so much for joining us. And of course, you know the drill. We like to do fact and opinion. One awesome fact, one dumb opinion. And uh, you just do what you want with it. You just do whatever the hell you want with it. Uh, this one is going to go into a rant. You've heard Hunter and I rant about this numerous times. But it, what's one more day? So uh, apparently, it costs approximately 21 to 29 cents every year to use your turn signals based on the amount of energy they use and the tiny amount of gas that it takes oh throughout the year. So which I know exactly call, where this is going to go. I'm going to call bullshit. I think most people aren't paying any because nobody uses their fucking turn signals. That's <laughs> I, knew, the I knew exactly where this oh, was going to go. Absolutely. It makes me so angry. Look, so, folks. First off, let me just kick it off, Brock, by saying I yeah. think it's BS that you use gas using your turn signal. I, I think somebody, I think you made that up so you can go into just this. So rant. I can rant, just so I can make the, just right. so I can do this rant. That's all I did. Yeah, it's the perfect, perfect effect. Um, no, I did not make this up. I swear it's on my, it's, it's on my prep sheet. And so who knows? So maybe it's a, <laughs> it's off by a few cents or gallons or whatever. But look, folks, I chalk it up to this. Okay. And and we could literally end the conversation at this, mm -hmm. but we're not going to. If you're a youngster watching this, maybe you're 14, 15, you're doing your driver's ed test, right? Or you're, you're taking driver's ed. If you take your driver's ed test and you don't use your turn signal, you will fail, fail. that driver's ed test. So that tells you that you legally need to use your indicator. It's that simple, folks. So here's, I here's what blows my mind, Brock. So when I get in the car, even out of my driveway, my, my, yeah. my left hand automatically yep. hits that signal even yep. if i know nobody's behind me i can be coming yep. out of a parking lot it's yep. just it's a natural thing it, my heart beats and my left hand automatically does it, it, it <laughs> hand in hand right there man and it just blows my mind that, that it some people it's just not a it's not a tick for them it i don't know it doesn't automatically happen it's weird to me yeah, that's actually one of the main reasons. I know you got a dash cam. Like, I want to get a dash cam just because mm -hmm. if that day ever comes where I hit someone because they didn't use their turn signal and then it'll walk back, look, it, it's good. People, I, look, if you're changing lanes, if you're, it, like Hunter said, in a part, it doesn't matter. Just make it part of your daily driving routine it's the fucking law <laughs> is it amazing we have to we have to talk about this it, 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 and i see adults i mean old people that have been driving just going about their lives for 80 years not using their turn signal it's like no i i i'm a firm believer in this i think if you break the basic rules of the road you should have your license revoked because it's the basic rules that keep the roads from being just full of anarchy they're oh no did you get a call did you just get a call Hunter. Yeah, man. Shit. Just keep keep talking. All right. I'm going to keep talking. Hop off and hop oh, back in. So, <laughs> See, the thing is, Hunter's doing this on his phone, on the work phone. And when he gets spam phone calls, it uh, it kicks off. And now he can't hear anything. So now he's just shaking his head saying, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Nothing. I can't hear you. <laughs> I don't. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yes, oh, I, I can don't hear even you. know how to leave this and then re-enter. Oh, uh, what if I remove you? I'm going to remove you, and then I'm going to add you to the. Is that work? Did that work? <laughs> this is just terrible. Oh my god! All right, I think Hunter officially left. Let's see if he pops back on. So I'm going to continue my rant with this. It's very simple, folks. It, it, it absolutely is. Is that if we don't use turn signals, then we stop actually coming to full stops. Then we stop checking our blind spots. It's just the basic common rules of the road. Can you hear me now? I'm back. 
There you go. I was just ranting again, saying how, look, you have to keep in mind that if we, if you're like, well, it's just a turn signal. No, no, no. Okay. Well, then it's just a blind spot. It's mm-hmm. just rolling through a stop sign. It's just, look, there's basic rules mm-hmm. set up. So, so it's not anarchy on the roads. I want to go back to what you said earlier about getting the dash cam. So it, sh- it should be a rule that, hey, if, if it's on the dash cam, you didn't use your turn signal and you get rear-ended, sorry. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. It's your yeah. fault. And that's yep. the way it should be. I, it, that's got to be the way it is, right? If you have proof. Well, yeah, for sure. If you have proof, I mean, in, in any accident, you can say, well, they weren't using the turn signal, yada, 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 and this right, and well, that. Here you and, go. Yeah. Um, you know the other thing, too? I, I, I'm done ranting about that. Look, I, I'm just you saying, I'm stressed. <laughs> because you know what? It, and, and I've learned a lot of this from Kiki and Kiki made a comment. This was probably four years ago. And so my parents live in Wisconsin. So where we're at here in Michigan, we have to go through Chicago every single time to go visit my folks. Uh, whether I go up on 94 and all the way up to Milwaukee or I cut over, we have to go around Chicago. And one time we were kind of in some heavy traffic and I, I I was like swearing and hollering and she's like, look, honey, you know, they can't hear you. And I said, I know, but it makes me feel better. Mm-hmm. She's like, but look, I can hear you. And I said, okay, that's a good point. So I've really tried to calm my driving anger down. I Tone get very, a little bit. because the thing is, and you shouldn't because people are driving around in two ton weapons. All right. Dangerous things that people take way too cavalier. Uh, uh, they're way too relaxed behind the fucking wheel of the car. Mm. No, I'm not saying when I'm cruising down the highway in the middle of Illinois that I'm not a little bit more relaxed, but I'm still focused and paying attention. I just hate how relaxed people take driving. It's a serious fucking thing that you need to pay attention to. So I wish there was a way that we could like tap into other people's speakers or just tell them like, cause people need to know that they're driving like assholes. That's the long and short of it. And that's what gets me so angry is that that asshole driver is going to go through their life not knowing that they're an asshole driver. And I hate that. I hate uh, listen, it. Listen, dude, listen to you. Listen it makes, to you. It makes you're, me so angry. It does. Dude, you get more worked up about this than Aaron Rodgers and all that, yeah. that shit yeah. about the football thing. Damn, yeah. you all right? Here's yeah. the thing. Here's the thing why I hold myself back from just screaming at people and rolling my window, window down and given the finger and whatnot is because, dude, I don't know what that other guy is. I don't know who he is. He could be a psycho. He could have an AK right there in his lap. I'm like, uh, especially nowadays, dude, you see weird situations where people just, uh, you kind of got yourself into that situation, you know? I don't know. I, I don't want to get shot, man. Not me, know. dude. I lay the horn. Uh, I flip people off. Like, it just, no, only to the people that deserve it. Well, here's a good example. The, uh, the other day, uh, oh, this was the other day, this was probably like two weeks ago. Anyway, Kiki and I were out running some errands and this old lady, when I say that she was probably in her like, you know, late sixties, dude, she was riding my ass and we were coming up, we were on Nickerson, uh, coming up to M139. All right. And you know, there that eventually it opens up. So it's one lane and then it's, it opens up and then you have a turn lane, a straight lane, and then a left turn lane. She is riding my ass. I am going the speed limit. I'm not trying to fuck with her or anything like that. All of a sudden, now I start getting over to that middle lane because I got to go straight. She then, like, before the road even starts expanding, she's whipping up past me. Well, she gets stuck at the light with me. So her window's down, my window's down. Oh and and I, earlier, I raised my hand. I'm like, what are you doing? Like, I did like the, what are you yeah. doing? So now I hop there. <laughs> So she looks over. She looks over, and I say, oh, you in a hurry? And Kristen's like, oh, my God. And, I'm, and she goes, yeah i said wait i was like you're riding my ass she's like no i wasn't no i was i said yeah you were so i'm sitting there yelling at this lady she eventually (laughs) but it's like look you shouldn't i I, people get away with driving like jerks and it drives me nuts another time in springfield this happened not too long ago we were i love it so again we're in this two lane i am going above the speed limit this guy is on my ass i can't get over okay this is this is fine all right people are all going the one way he is on my ass. Not to mention, dude, he's in a company vehicle, which that also pisses me off, too. Mm-hmm. So finally, uh, I have to get over into the turn lane. Uh, he goes around me at this point. So eventually, like he cuts in between me and this other guy, goes flying. He gets uh, he gets stuck at a light. I have to go past him to get to my spot in the turn lane. I honk, me, 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 and just there, there. Then as he's going past, he gives me the thumbs up, like, ah, ah, like yeah, right. and there Chris you go, buddy. Right. Yeah. So Kristen, though, she goes, she's like, you guys, what are you just in a big dick contest? I'm like, yeah. And guess what? My dick was bigger. <laughs> my dick was right. bigger. 
it's just, I know, I know I'm ranting. I'm, I'm, I'm controlling this conversation. It's just Hunter, you're a very good driver. And I appreciate that. You I'm know? sure that was instilled in you. And it's just, don't take driving lightly. All right. So, That's how accidents happen. There's one experience I want to share real quick. And I think maybe this is why I shut up. I shut up when I, when somebody is driving bad because I was a kid and I was riding with my mom and my mom, she get a little road rage too, just like you, man. Like she'll, she'll, she'll let people know. <laughs> and this dude just straight up stops in the middle of the road or it kind of pulls over a little bit, stops. And she stops behind him and dude, his door opens up and I'm like, Oh no, dude, this is going to mm -hmm. be, this could be very bad. So, dude, we locked the door, rolled the windows up. She cracks him, and, dude, they just yelled at each other through the window. But as we left, I'm like, Mom, what if you just walked up and just pow? Yeah. You know, like, like it's 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 weird. It, you don't want to get yourself in a situation like that, but you just want to scream at people on the road. So I, I, I'm 50-50, I'm man. There's times I, where I can't even – I can't hold it. You know, I've got – I've gotten better and I get where you're coming from, but I would rather face a guy with a gun and let him know he's a shitty driver than go on letting him just live his I shitty. I will give my life. To I let will. You know how bad you are. I will. You know? I've almost wanted to become a driving instructor just so I can usher in that next generation of not shitty drivers, for God's he sake. Takes his job seriously. You know? He's very intense. Uh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Havens is a very intense driving instructor. <laughs> Anyway, all right. Well, so it's a good rant, man. You know what? I'm exhausted now. Yeah. I was gonna say, take your blood pressure. Let's see what, what that's at. It's high. It's high right now. It is. It is. You know, <laughs> for good reasons, though. You know what? You guys listening to this? For God's sake, shape up out there. Drive, yeah. Drive good. It, it, it's not even if you're in a tiny little smart car, it's still a weapon that can mm -hmm. cause a lot of damage. Don't be a fucking idiot. All right. <laughs> That is going to do it for Brock and Hunter here on the Plan B After Show podcast. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out. We appreciate it. And, of course, we'll see you next time uh, for another fact and opinion right here. WIRX. That's all I got. See ya.